When I told my family, who I love very much, that I became Muslim, they cut me off. Within two hours, I had messages on my phone, we don't want to know you anymore. Um, you're not our daughter. All these messages came. So within two hours, I lost all my family, brother, sister, aunts, uncles, cousins. I lost all of them. I lost my family home because I couldn't go back. I lost my city. I couldn't go back there. I lost my roots. Um, it's like I was pulled from the ground and just thrown mm. out. So um, it was really, really hard, really, really hard, um, especially at night time because you know, I couldn't sleep thinking about my family. On the one hand, I had to accept that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took all my family away and gave me a Muslim family. The family that I gained from the masjid from Birmingham, mashallah, were amazing. Without them, I don't think I'd be here today. I think I would have died from depression. But because the Muslim ummah is a very good, very strong ummah, and we need to say it more, it was very hard to be a wife, um, be a mother without your mom. So my mom wasn't there when my children were born. Sorry. It was really hard. But um, I don't have any regrets because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most wise and Allah knows how best and where to put your heart. So um, they my dad, he still um, finds it difficult. I don't have any communication with my brother, sister. Um, I still, I find it hard and I think till the day I die, I'll find it hard, but I have to accept it. And now I spend more time trying to um, motivate the sisters, the youth to say, look, what you're looking at is freedom, liberation, etc. It's not. Islam is. Islam gives you the answer and if someone asked me now why are you Muslim today which I have to question myself all the time because you know two years ago I broke down very badly and I had to question why am I Muslim? Who am I Muslim for? So when I think the youth why are they Muslim if someone asked me now why are you Muslim I'd just say one thing I need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I need Allah that's it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that we need. I need my mom and dad. But now I see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as my wali, my protector, that my dad, he's not here for that. But Allah is. And you know the sukoon that comes from sujood. We need Allah. That's it. If you have Allah, you'll be strong. It doesn't matter what comes your way. If you have Allah, you will wake up for another day. And whatever test comes your way, you'll say Alhamdulillah. Because you see, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he taught us to look forward to Jannah. Alhamdulillah. SubhanAllah, <laughs> تترك الأم وتترك العائلة وتترك الحياة كلها وهي بنت من أجل الجنة من أجل الله عز وجل ورفض الله عز وجل والله وهي تتكلم كاني أرى الآية تنزل أفهم شرح الله وصدره للإسلام هو على نور من ربه بعض المسلمين يتركون الله عز وجل ويتركون غاية الجنة من أجل مال من أجل ملذات الدنيا ولكنهم لا يرون غير الله أنا أعلم ما هو الدين اللي كانت هي تنتمي له صعب جدا جدا بل هي خطورة أن تترك هذا الدين وتذهب إلى الإسلام ولكن تركت كل شيء من أجل الجنة نسأل الله العافية ساري درب النبي ساري حبه